you know what my biggest issue is with Nintendo and the Nintendo Switch, but mainly it's Nintendo, is the Nintendo eStore. Now, the vast majority of the games I play on my PlayStation are stored on the hard drive. I don't really have that many discs. And on some devices, like for example my Quest 3 headset, everything is stored on there. But with the Nintendo Switch, the prices of the games on their store are so expensive um, in comparison to the sort of cartridge counterparts that it doesn't really make sense to do that. And that sacrifices the ability to not have to fumble around with all your cartridges every single time you want to change game. On my Nintendo Switch, because I only ever use the game cartridges, I have to constantly switch between them, and it can be a little bit annoying. Now, I just wanted to show you a way that you can get around this and I was sent something by a company and it is this. Now what this should do is make it a lot easier for you to use your Nintendo Switch by eliminating the need to constantly be switching between games. Now don't get me wrong, this is still a bit of a workaround and it's not flawless but let's set it up and see what happens. So essentially with this accessory, what you want to do is attach it to the dock. It is a dock only accessory. It's not going to work out and about. What you will do is you put it on top of your dock at the back here and you can sort of push it on and wedge it on with the sort of little clips that are there and it should just sit nicely on top of your dock. You then get this little thing here. You open up the game cartridge part of your actual Switch console and you slip that in as if it's a game cartridge and let it click in. And now you can actually put in up to four cartridges. So I'm going to stick in my four cartridges like so. Now the way this works is it doesn't actually make it read four cartridges. But what it does do is it automatically will switch between the cartridges to get it working. Now because there isn't actually power coming through the game cartridge slot, you do need to power this. Luckily you can use the included cable in the box and just attach it straight to the dock. So you stick your USB in here, like so, and then the same on the side. And then you get the little light come on the top, and you can sort of press that and switch between your games, and there's a different sort of color code for each game that you're cycling between. Now let's have a look at what that looks like on the Nintendo Switch. So when you're actually on the Nintendo Switch, it looks like this. You switch between them and you see that as I press the button, it actually switches what game is in the cartridge. Now, as much as that is a lot easier than having to fumble around with your game cartridges, it does still mean you're having to get up and walk to the Nintendo Switch in order to change the games, which is ideally the biggest part of having to go change the games if you're already going there. If you're already on your way over to the Nintendo Switch, you may as well just change the cartridge while you're there. But it does come with a remote. Now here is the remote and what you can do is you can press the button on the remote and it switches it all across. So what you can do is you can leave this on your dock set up and then have this somewhere on the sofa. You can hang it up somewhere using the included strap or you can have it just stuck to like the side of your sofa or something like that. It's got a nice little rubber grip on the bottom little clicky button on top and then you decide actually I'm not fancying this particular game I'll switch to this one. Now if you have games that you pretty much only use in handheld mode uh, you can not worry about using this and just put them in when you want to use them in handheld mode but for games that you predominantly or will only use in docked mode for example Nintendo Switch Sports that's a perfect thing to have in here attach the dock at all times and if you want to still take the dock out and use it in handheld mode all you have to do is unplug it like that and take it out of the dock easiest part. Now let's quickly just show some games running on here. So here I am running Breath of the Wild on my Nintendo Switch. Absolutely fine with no issues. And then I want to say, you know what, actually I'm a little bit bored. I'm not fancying playing Zelda anymore. I want to play Mario Kart. So what you need to do, you do need to remember to do this properly because you need to actually close the app you're using. But you press the home button you jump along to where it was, you want to close the software, and then you want to grab your little button, tap it, that will change the game. Oh yeah, I wanted to play Mario Kart, there we go. And jump straight into Mario Kart, just like that. Which makes this experience much more similar to the online experience of I always want to load up a game. It's slightly more complicated if you're using cartridges, but it's much better than just using cartridges, if you get what I mean. Here we go, Mario Kart. Up and running, nice and easily, on the Nintendo Switch, super easily, running absolutely perfectly. What more could you ask for? So guys, if you want to grab one of these, I'll put the link down in the description below. Thank you very much for watching the video, I'll see you in the next one.